Right, I wanted to do a quick video just explaining the different types of bind, the hold versus a preset bind. This is a Spectrum AR7610 receiver which does both. So I can demonstrate that. I plug in the bind plug, the transmitter's off, I plug in the power lead, and the light flashes to bind. So then I just bind in the normal way. And you can see that's binding DSMX 22 milliseconds. So now I've got, I'll unplug the bind plug, but I've already connected, I've already bound before I unplug the bind. So I've got my controls. Now, if I hold the stick up, so I've got all my sticks up, if I turn off the transmitter, when it goes into fail safe, throttle goes to low, but these two are holding their last position. So if I turn that back on, you'll see them all go back to full throttle in the middle stick. Okay? Now the alternate bind is a preset bind. So I do exactly the same thing. I plug in the bind plug. I plug in the power lead. As soon as the light starts flashing, I'm unplugging the bind plug. Now I bind, same as before. Okay, so I've got control exactly like before. And the difference is now, if I hold the servo positions, when I turn off the transmitter, they'll all go back to, to their bind positions. So these have gone back to center, this has gone to low throttle. And when I turn it back on, they will jump back to the positions I'm holding. Okay, now this is really useful because say your uh, flight mode for your NASA requires a certain position, say it requires this center position as fail safe. Um, if you use the preset bind, then that will, when you lose signal, it will engage fail safe. If you don't, it will just hold the last position. Now, if the last position was that you were rolling, then as soon as you lose signal, it'll hold, it'll carry on rolling and it'll just roll into the ground. Uh, with, depending on the type of signal loss, if you have a very brief outage, then holding the position might be okay if you lose maybe half a second or a second. If it's any longer than that, it's probably not going to help. Uh, if it's got a very stable aircraft like a glider, then going back to all centre positions might level it out if it's a high wing train or a glider. Um, the other thing I just wanted to show, just as a test, I've got um, a metal tin. Is a, is a baked bean tin and a metal thing. If I completely encase that receiver, uh, I still cannot get that to lose signal, which I was really surprised at. I thought that would not be the case anyway. So that is the difference between the um, preset bind and a hold bind. You can see I've got the hold light there flashing. Um, I'll just quickly run through. I've got some other receivers. I've got an orange. Um, this is the cheap orange receiver, which is, I forget the model number. Um, but it's the cheap six channel orange receiver. This is the uh, R800X, which is the eight channel orange receiver. This is a Spectrum AR6210, and this is a Spectrum AR6100E. Um, and I will just quickly run through them, showing both modes. So this is the orange six channel receiver. So I plug in the bind plug, and I'm pretty sure this one only does a hold. So I'll plug out the bind plug anyway. So that just does a hold. You can see the throttle goes to low, but the other channels are just holding. I just quickly do the other bind just to prove, but I'm absolutely sure that it'll do the same. That's just a hold. All right, so this is the AR6210, and I already know this only does a hold bind. So, but I just prove it. We just plug that plug power in. So that's now ready to bind. I'll pull that out as if I was going to do a preset bind, but I know it doesn't work. So that's binding DSMX. So throttle goes low, but the other channels just hold, which I already knew. 
and that is the uh, I believe the AR6200 is the same uh, it will only do a, uh, a hold bind okay now this is an old AR6100 which is a DSM2 receiver um, which as you can see is flashing to bind I pull the plug out this will bind up DSM2 now this I believe only does a preset bind yep there you go so that's a preset bind so it's all going back to bind positions it's not holding last position now I'm sure that even if I do a traditional bind it'll do the same because I think this only does a preset bind so again that's a preset bind I should have sorry the throttle stand and that's a preset bind because the uh, all the channels have gone to their bind positions there you go and this is a, a just a a tradition a fashion thing uh, originally the bind always was the um, all channels will go to bind position the hold was a later addition which in some cases is good it's the only thing that matters is that you understand the differences between the two binds and that you use the one that works for your application hope this is useful thanks